Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Weymouth action on FM20. Today, we are back in the championship, taking on Blackburn in the first game, and then we'll be taking on Oxford in the second. This season has been more of a struggle than I thought it would be. I have not had a good start to the season at all. So, that opening game was a 1-1 draw against West Ham. We followed that up with a 2-0 defeat against Brentford. Brentford did, of course, finish in the playoffs last season. So our first two games were definitely against two challenging teams. We then got our first win of the season against newly promoted QPR. Callum King Harms, or Harmes got our only goal in that. That is a loanee we have from Aston Villa. And since He's on loan from Aston Villa, and they are an affiliate of us. We were able to get him without paying any money, which is something that we definitely need. Um, so yeah, that was our first win there. We then took on Charlton in the Carabao Cup, and we lost out on penalties after it finished 2-2. We're just not good at penalty shootouts. It's an English thing. So our participation in that cup was very short-lived. Then it was back to the championship and we got a 3-1 defeat against Middlesbrough. Tom Davidson scored a hat trick for them. All in the second half. We did open up the scoring through less pain in the 18th minute. And then in the second half, Lawrence Vos got himself sent off in the 62nd minute. Don't think it should have been a red card. My assistant manager also said it was a harsh decision, but of course our appeal got denied. Then another disappointing defeat, this time at the hands of Sheffield United. They beat us 4-2, El Ghazi and Greenwood getting our goals in that game. So we've only picked up 4 points so far in this season, a draw and 1 victory. Doesn't put us in a good position. We are currently down in 18th place. It's just been a, a real struggle so far in this season. Team news. We do have a, another new signing. Um, we're going to start in post though. It is that right back I was talking about. Uh, he just signed a couple days ago. It is Aludere Ulafunwa. Is a Nigerian right back. He has really good pace and physicals. Mentals, not, not the best. I'm disappointed in the five determination. His technicals, uh, very solid defensively. Going forward, um, not the best. Only three for crossing. Leaves a lot to be desired, but he was the best option that we could get at the moment. So he is our backup right back. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll jump into this game. Taking on Blackburn, we are at home. Not sure if that's going to make a difference or not, but we really need to pick up these three points, and this is a winnable game. The teams are out, and we are underway here at the Bob Lucas Stadium. Come on, you Terras. We really need a good performance here. Um, yeah, it's just not been a good start to the campaign. I don't think we've had a goal from any of our strikers. Uh, through Edmondson or Sims. That's very concerning. Uh, I would have thought Edmondson would have opened up his goal scoring at this point, but he just simply hasn't. And then we've been really leaky uh, in defense. We haven't been nearly as good as we were last year uh, in terms of defense. So I'm not entirely sure what is happening. Is that it's the same defense besides our goalkeeper so they should be even better than last year but that was the first half um didn't see any highlights you just heard me talking the whole time so we need to do better here in the second half and try and actually create something here that was a, a very poor first half we've dominated the stats our possession is is not good though uh, and i've noticed that so far this season we haven't been dominating possession like we typically do we do have a free kick here and it is a header by McKenna but he heads it over substitution time 
El Ghazi still working his way back to full fitness. So Greenwood. Well, King Harm, Carmez, Harms. I don't really know. I'm just going to call him Harms. King Harms is what we're going with. Is going to come on in his place. Then we'll we'll do that. We'll switch blanks there. What else do we want to do? I think we will take off Andy Stockbridge for Will Valks as well on a 6.4. So that is our first two substitutions done. Still looking for an opening goal here. Okay, we'll make our final substitution. So Edmonton is looking a little tired, but he is on a 7.3, which is his best game so far. So I think we will bring on Charlie Lakin for Duarte. And then we'll just do that there. Got to push for this winner here, guys. 20 minutes to play. Guess a draw would be better than nothing, but we really need to get these three points. This is definitely a team we can get the three points against. But it's not looking too likely here. We're in added time. We have a free kick. This could be big. Greenwood whips it in. Get there, Valks. Oh, wow. What? This overruns the ball. They pick it up. Vos now has it. He plays it up to King Harms. And you whip it across. He picks out Valks. Out the Vos. Who tries to whip it across. It gets blocked. Goes to Lakin. Have a shot. Edmondson. Someone shoot the ball. Callum King Harms. Puts it in there off the underside of the crossbar. We're going to park the bus. We are going to park the bus. But we opened up the scoring in the 92nd minute. Let's just take a look at this shot. I thought Edmondson should have had a shot. He played it off to King Harms. Keeper did get a hand to it, but it goes in still. And there's the full time whistle. We pick up a huge three points. Thanks to that very, very late goal from Callum King Harms. Okay, so after that game, we do sit in 15th place, moving up three spots in the process. We are about to take on 19th place Oxford, another game that should be winnable for us. Before we do jump into the game, if you are enjoying this episode, make sure you leave the video a like. And if you are new around here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I do think we will make one change going into this game. I think King Harms deserves a spot into the starting lineup, so he will take the place of Greenwood. Otherwise, it is the same team as last game. And once again, we are here at the Bob Lucas Stadium. And we are underway here. Hopefully we don't go the first half without a highlight again. There we go. We actually have a highlight. We have intercepted the ball off of that goal kick. That's a good ball. Oh, he overruns that with a poor first touch. And now we're getting counterattacked here. And we give up a penalty. Come on, Matland. You're better than that. We could be going up here within the first four minutes of the game. And they do... Come on, guys. E we're better than this. Giving up a silly penalty within the first five minutes. We are on the ball here. El Ghazi has it. Can he whip it across? He picks out Earl. Can he whip it across? No, we're not keen on doing a cross. Dorate, though, he has a shot at the top of the box, and he curls that in. Beautiful shot from DeRoy Duarte. He opens up his goal scoring for the Terras. What a beautiful goal this was. Just bends that in there. Beautiful shot. And things are evened up here. Ten minutes into the game. We have a free kick. It's whipped in by Duarte. Oh, it's cleared off the line. Get it back in there. This, yeah. When the center back gets on the ball up there, it just, you know, it's not going to work out. Josh Earl does pick up a yellow card as well. Much more entertaining game than last one. They are not faring well off of these goal kicks. So 
only a matter of time before we punish them, or it turns out it could be part of their plan because we gift them a ball and an opportunity to counterattack us. I don't know why Matlin just turned around and booted that right out of play or a corner. We do survive it, and we did not have an opportunity to counterattack. Yeah, I'm not not sure, but this team just doesn't feel as good as last year's team. Feels like every time the opponent gets on the ball, they're going to score. And didn't really feel that way last season. But there's halftime. It is deadlocked here at 1-1. Not a good enough first half. And Callum King harms on a 6.4. I gave him the start, and he's not taking the opportunity. So Sam Greenwood could be making an appearance here in the second half, unless he improves. Let's tell the team to get creative here. Push for our second goal. We're just going to do that really quickly. And we're back in. We are on the ball. So this is an opportunity. His cross gets blocked. It falls to Duarte who picks out King Harms. He was offside, but that was a terrible, terrible shot. A P-roller right into the hands of the keeper. Corner now for the Terrace. Whipped in by Duarte. It's a goal. Ryan Edmondson. His first goal for the Terras. It took him longer than I wanted to. He finally opens up his goal scoring. And hopefully that means they will start flowing in now. Nice little glancing header. Looped it in there. 2-1 to the Terras. Substitution time. We are going to... Bring on Greenwood for King Harms. And Lakin's going to come on for Josh Earl, who is on a yellow card. And we're not trying to get a red card today. We're just going to hold on to our final substitution. A little bit longer here. Another free kick for the Terras. Oh, Edmondson almost had a brace. Wasn't able to keep that header down. Final substitution. Gonna bring on Will Valks for Payne. And that'll be our final substitution. And we're just gonna tell the team to go balanced here. Not so attacking, but not too defensive either. Just a couple minutes left here, plus four added on. Any moment the ref's gonna call it. There it is. Two wins on the bounce now for the Terras. Definitely against two teams that weren't as good as a lot of the teams that we faced so far. But you gotta get the victories when you can. And this is gonna put us in a very good place in the league table. We won't be so far down right above the relegation zone anymore. We're gonna be up in 12th place. So we're creeping up the table. Two wins on the bounce. The morale in the locker room is gonna be on the rise. And that should hopefully lead to some more good performances and hopefully some more victories as well. But that is where we're going to end off this episode today. Not too sure when we'll come back. Um, just looking at it here, this Cardiff and Watford game could be a very good episode to come back for. Both of those teams were relegated from the Premier League last season. A good chance that is where we'll come back but we'll just have to wait and see until next time it's been your boyd 147